Who really buys luxury fashion brands? Is it the rich and famous or the everyday Joe? Let's take a moment to ponder on this question. The common perception is that luxury fashion is the exclusive playground of the wealthy. We imagine Hollywood celebrities draped in the latest Gucci or the elite sipping champagne while flaunting their Louis Vuitton bags. But is that really the case? A closer look reveals a surprising reality. It's not the millionaires or the moguls who are the primary consumers of luxury fashion goods. It's not the ones who jet around in private planes or sail in yachts. No, the real consumers of these high-end products are, in fact, the middle class. Yes, you heard that right. The middle class, those who work nine to five jobs, save diligently and are always on the lookout for a good deal. They are the ones who are actually buying these luxury items, not the super rich. But why is this so? Well, it's all about perception and aspiration. Luxury brands are seen as symbols of success, status, and sophistication. Owning a designer piece, be it a belt, a bag, or a pair of shoes, is often viewed as a ticket to a higher social standing. It's a way to feel rich, even if you're not. And so, middle-class consumers driven by the desire to attain this perceived status find themselves spending a significant portion of their income on these luxury items. They save, they budget, they sometimes even go into debt. All to own a piece of that luxury dream. And the luxury brands? They're more than happy to cater to this demand. They've recognized the middle class as their real gold mine. And they've been silently targeting them for over a decade. It's not about selling to the rich and famous anymore. It's about selling to the aspirational middle class. Could it be that the middle class is the real gold mine for luxury brands, not the rich and famous? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? But as we dive deeper into this topic, you'll find that the answer is a resounding yes. How do luxury fashion brands lure the middle class into overspending on their products? Let's unravel the clandestine tactics employed by these brands. Firstly, we delve into the concept of aspirational luxury. It's a fascinating phenomenon where the middle class seeks to emulate the lifestyle of the wealthy. Luxury brands have capitalized on this by creating a perception of exclusivity around their products. They position themselves as symbols of status and success, tantalizing the middle class with the allure of a lifestyle that feels just within reach, yet remains elusive. This is where the role of influencers comes into play. We've all seen them on social media, flaunting their latest designer purchases. They're the perfect conduit for these brands, effectively bridging the gap between the high-end luxury world and the middle class. By associating themselves with influencers, luxury brands subtly communicate that their products are attainable, fueling the desire of the middle class to mimic the lifestyles they see online. The final piece of the puzzle is the use of credit. The ease of obtaining credit these days has made it possible for the middle class to buy into the luxury lifestyle, even when they can't afford it. Luxury brands often collaborate with credit card companies to offer special deals and payment plans, making their products seem more affordable. It's a clever strategy that encourages impulse buying and overspending, keeping the middle class ensnared in a cycle of debt. However, it's important to note that while these strategies are effective, they are not without consequences. The relentless pursuit of luxury can lead to financial strain and an unhealthy obsession with material possessions. It's a game where the middle class is often left paying the price for a fleeting taste of luxury. The middle class, it seems, is ensnared in a web of luxury aspiration and easy credit. A web spun with threads of aspiration, influencers, and credit designed to keep the middle class perpetually chasing the illusion of luxury. What's the illusion that luxury fashion brands sell to the middle class? It's a question that brings us face to face with the cleverly constructed mirage of exclusivity and affluence. The illusion is multifaceted, complex, and incredibly persuasive. It's what makes that Louis Vuitton bag or Gucci belt more than just an accessory. It's a symbol, a status marker, a ticket to a world that seems just out of reach. Luxury brands are masters at this game of illusion. They craft narratives of elegance, sophistication, and high society. They create worlds where their products are the key to unlocking a lifestyle of glamour and prestige. The mere act of owning a luxury item is perceived as a testament to one's success and status. But this illusion goes deeper. It plays on our inherent human desire to be part of something exclusive, something elite, the allure of the limited edition or the handcrafted taps into this desire. It's a psychological game, 
where the perceived value of an item skyrockets not because of its inherent worth, but due to its perceived scarcity and exclusivity. Yet there's another layer to this illusion, one that's perhaps even more potent. Luxury fashion brands have mastered the art of storytelling. Each product is not just a physical item, it's a story. A story of craftsmanship, tradition, and heritage. A story that, when bought, becomes part of your own personal narrative. The illusion is thus complete. The luxury item morphs from being just an accessory to a symbol of personal success, a badge of exclusivity, and a chapter in your life story. It's a powerful illusion, one that's hard to see through, and even harder to resist. Yet, it's essential to remember that at the end of the day, it's just that. An illusion. A beautifully crafted, expertly marketed illusion. But an illusion, nonetheless. In a world driven by status and appearance, the allure of luxury fashion is hard to resist. But the next time you find yourself lusting after that designer handbag or luxury watch, remember the illusion. And ask yourself, is it worth it? What's the real cost of buying into the luxury fashion illusion? Luxury fashion with all its glitz and glamour is more than just a matter of style. It's a financial commitment that can have far-reaching implications. For many, the allure of designer brands is so potent that it can lead to overspending, which in turn can trigger a spiral of financial instability. Imagine this, an average person, let's call him John, earns a decent income. He's enamored by the allure of luxury fashion and decides to splurge on a Louis Vuitton bag that costs around two months of his salary. Sure, he enjoys the immediate thrill of owning a luxury item, but what about the long-term financial implications? John's decision to indulge in luxury fashion isn't just about the price tag of the bag, it's about the opportunity cost. The money he spent on the bag could have been invested or saved for a rainy day, but instead it's tied up in a depreciating asset that provides no financial return. Moreover, the desire to maintain the illusion of wealth can lead to even more reckless spending. Once you've tasted the world of luxury fashion, it's easy to get caught up in it. You might find yourself buying more and more designer items to keep up with the latest trends, further straining your financial situation. It's also important to remember that the cost of luxury fashion isn't confined to your wallet. It can impact your financial stability, your ability to save for the future, and even your mental health. The stress of maintaining a lifestyle beyond your means can take a toll on your well-being. So the next time you find yourself drawn to a Gucci belt or a pair of Prada shoes, ask yourself, is the short-term thrill of owning a luxury item really worth the potential long-term financial instability? The price of luxury fashion is more than just the cost of a Gucci belt or a Louis Vuitton bag. It's about the potential impact on your financial future and your overall well-being. It's about understanding the real cost of buying into the luxury fashion illusion. So who really buys luxury fashion brands? This is the question we've been exploring and the answer might surprise you. We've traversed the landscape of luxury fashion, peeling back the layers of misconception, strategy, illusion, and reality. We started off by debunking the popular belief that the rich are the primary consumers of luxury fashion. Contrary to this widespread assumption, it's not the high-flying billionaires or glamorous movie stars who are lining the coffers of these high-end brands. We delved into the strategies employed by luxury fashion houses, their secret weapon being, of course, their marketing prowess. They have mastered the art of creating an illusion of exclusivity and prestige, making their products highly desirable to the middle class. We then navigated the illusory world created by these brands, a world where owning a Gucci belt or a Louis Vuitton bag is perceived as a status symbol, a ticket to a higher social standing. This illusion is so powerful that it entices people to overspend, often way beyond their means. Finally, we unveiled the stark reality that it is the middle class, not the wealthy, who are the real consumers of luxury fashion items. The rich, ironically, are more practical shoppers who prioritize quality and longevity over brand names. This journey has led us to a profound understanding of the dynamics of the luxury fashion industry. It's not about who can afford these items, but who these brands target. And they've been targeting the middle class for over a decade. 
The allure of these brands lies in their ability to make people feel affluent, even if it's just an illusion. But this illusion comes with a hefty price tag. Not only does it lead to financial strain, but it also promotes a culture of materialism and superficiality. The question we need to ask ourselves is, is it worth it? Luxury fashion brands have expertly marketed themselves to the middle class, creating an illusion of wealth and exclusivity that many find irresistible. But at what cost? 